Namaste yogis. Welcome to our Saturday morning yoga. So let's shake it up a little bit. Stand up everyone. Just find your four corners of your mat and start exploring the four corners of your mat. And just shake it up. Shake your elbows, shake your wrists, shake your fingers, shake your neck to the left, to the right. Look over your left shoulder and to the right. Feel how your body wants to move today. Just shake it up. Okay, all right. Then let's start our spot walking. Knees up, nice and smooth spot walk. You can continue to walk like this or if you want, you can slowly transition into spot running. And slowly transition into jumping jacks. Keep breathing. Go stronger, stronger. Pull, 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 pull. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Slowly sit down back into your easy walk. All right, bring your hands onto your hips and let's do cross jacks. Switch your alternate knee to the front. Relax. All right, this scratch, cross jab really helps massage your inner thighs and start opening your hips a little bit. So that's why we did that today. Okay, with that. Bring your hands forward, open your fingers wide as starfish, stretch the webbing between your fingers, stretch, 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 lift your fingers up, feel that opening of your wrist here, and take it down, up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, up, and down, and up, and down. And up and down. Okay, shake it off. Now open your fingers wide. Bring your thumb in. Wrap it up. Adi mudra. Up. Wrap it up. Up. Wrap it up. Up. Wrap it up. All right. Make it movement faster and faster. Working out your so many tendons in your wrists. Stretch them nice and smooth. Keep your hands straight as much as possible. <clears throat> 
shake it up. All right, now with that, make a fist and then start your rolls. Switch. Shake it off. Hands, fingers on your shoulders, big inhale, pack your abs, lift and exhale through your ball, beach ball, as far as possible. Three, two, and one. All right, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Now, Pick your one foot in, lift your other knee up and squeeze it, roll your ankle, switch, you can use a chair, you can use a wall, you can use a friend, okay, and now push your toes away, lift your toes up, toes away, toes up, toes away, toes up and give a nice tight squeeze up towards your chin. Squeeze, squeeze, and release gently. Take your peace fingers to your big toes and kick it up, kick it up, kick it up into the ceiling. Opening your hip a little bit more and release. Okay, same options on the other side. Lift your other knee up, roll your wrists, roll your ankles, and then and switch. Toes away, toes in, toes away, toes in, toes away, toes in. And now give a nice squeeze up. All right, gently release. Take your peace fingers to your big toes and kick it up. Kick it up. How much ever it goes, okay? Lift it up into the ceiling. Up. Up, 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 and release. This opens up your hips and also hamstring a little bit. Okay, now gently put your one foot, mostly your left foot away, your toes parallel to the mat, left foot dig in, right foot dig in. Okay, now hands on your hips, or you can bring your hands along the sides of your leg and then start pumping. One, try to keep your legs straight for a nice, awesome hamstring stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and relax. Come up, change your sides. Same distance between your ankles and same options. Just bend forward and pull. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Whew. So you might have been feeling a nice stretch right under your glute here, and then all the way here. There are three muscles that make up your hamstrings, two right here, and one on the side. So same thing on this side too. So you are trying to stretch them Nicely. So if you don't feel stretch above your knee or under your butt, then you're doing something wrong. Try to stretch it out nicely. All right. With that said, next we'll go slowly into our prayer. Find a seated pose and do a swastikasana. Swastikasana is when you hide your feet in your behind between your opposite calf and Okay. Keep your feet stable. Try not to fidget here. Try to find a comfortable seated posture. 
right? You can make a nice loop like this with your fingers and leave it on your knees or you can clasp your hands. Keep your back strong and straight. Lift your chin up and try to restore back to normal breathing. Take a big inhale. Open mouth, let it go. Ah, take your time, no hurry. Ah. One more time, take a big inhale, gather all the sharpness in your breath. Calming down. Open mouth, let it go. Gather yeah, all the positive energy around you and relax your breath. Take out any tension in your arms, in your limbs, in your back, in your shoulders. Relax. Bring your smiley face and settle down your breath. We start out with a big OM. So whenever you're ready, gently, gently inhale your OM. Push your belly out so that you cannot inhale anymore. Keep your back strong and straight. Inhale. One more time. Take a big inhale. One more time. Center. Observe your body from your toes all the way to the crown of the head, one joint at a time, one muscle at a time. Normal breathing. Pay gentle attention to each of your joints. Toes, your ankles, your knees, the hips, up through your spine to your shoulders, your fingers, your knuckles, your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, your neck up into your jaws, your cheekbone, your ears and all the way to the crown of the head. Bring in positivity. Breathe only positive. Any pains, any uneasiness, breathe into it. Gently walk your hands forward, coming into all fours. Your knees right below your hips, your wrists right below your shoulders. Bring your right hand forward, left heel backward. Stretch your body nice and smooth. Stretch, 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 stretch. And release. Other side, stretch the left arm and right heel. Stretch it out, 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 out. And relax. A couple of cat and cows. Exhale. Drop your 
chin down into your chest, lift your back up in the angry cat. Inhale, drop your tummy down, look up. Exhale, squeeze everything. Inhale, come. And now starting one breath, one pose. Exhale your hips onto your heels, going into extended child's pose. Inhale, come up into all fours. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, all fours. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. All right. Now from this, you will tuck your toes and then gently come into the first down dog of the day. So gracefully lift your hips up, keep lifting up, open your fingers wide, your pointers almost parallel to each other, tuck your abs and keep pushing your chest into your thighs and take the crown of the head into the mat, opening the shoulders right away. Inhale, look forward, jump step into the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, fold your rear knee. One more time, hold your opposite elbows. You try to keep your legs straight and sink down, pump it down. To the left, to the center, and to the right. To the left, to the center, and to the right. Back to center, to the left, to the center, to the right, to the center, to the left, to the center, to the right, and relax. Hold it, switch your opposite elbows. So the other elbow comes forward, same three pumps down on each side. Right, relax. Inhale, flat back. Tuck your abs here, engage your bandhas, mula bandha, the root lock, yana bandha, the tummy lock, and push the crown of the head away from you. And that will lengthen your spine. And gently come up. Okay, I think we are now ready for our consultations. So we will do five sanes and five sanbis. There is no variation, just the same options. So if you are ready for them, go for it. Move with your breath, one breath, one pose. Lead with your breath. So start exhaling and move, start inhaling and move. Okay, that's what I mean by lead with your breath. Hands to heart center. Inhale your hands up, your right hand to your left wrist. Exhale, keep your hands straight through to the opposite side. Inhale, come up. Switch, other way. Exhale, inhale, come up. Go to push your arms. Lift your chest. Tuck your abs here. Engage your bandhas. Big and dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Plant your hands. Jump up steps to the top of the mat. Exhale, knees down. Bend your elbows close to the body. Inhale, upward facing down, asana. Exhale, downward facing down. Let's catch up with your breath on the every down dog of sun A for three strong breaths. And try to reach the crown of the head into the mat. So you keep pushing your chest into your thighs and sink your heels nice and smooth, opening your shoulders. Inhale, forward, bend, jump step. To the top, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forehead to your knees. Strong core, inhale, come up, all the way. Rinse and repeat. Exhale to the right, inhale up. Exhale to the left, inhale up. Full push, tuck your abs, and your forward. Inhale, flat back, drag your hands, jump or step. High plank to low plank, nice and smooth. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. And breathe. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, jump first step to the top. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, strong core, come up. And then go three more. Exhale to the right. Exhale to the left. Full post, inhale. And I forward. Inhale, flat back. Plant your hands. Jump step. Low plank. 
upward facing the Udhamukhi, Adhamukha, downward facing. Three strong breaths. Push the crown to the ground. Inhale, bend your knee, jump or step to the top of the mat. Flat back, four at your knee. Up, two more. Exhale to the right. Exhale to the left. Good post. Chest up into the ceiling. Swan thy forward. Keep moving. Low plank. Udhamki. Adhamki. Catch up. Tuck your abs. Engage your bandhas and sink the crown of the head into the mat. Inhale. Jump step. Exhale. Exhale for it to your knee. Inhale. Last one. Exhale to the right. Exhale to the left. Full boost. Forward. Flat back. Plank jump step. Low plank. Donkey. Alone. Inhale, jump step, flat back, forehead your knees, knees, bend your knees, chair pose. So, in this chair pose, be very careful. Don't push your knee forward. Try to push your hips back and tuck your tailbone. Okay? Try to keep your shin as straight and perpendicular as possible. You should be able to lift your toes. Tuck your tailbone, sink down. Tuck your tailbone, sink down. If you want to strengthen your core, this is the pose you should practice to stay in at least five minutes. Okay. Try to stay for a minute for now and then hang in there. You can start your counter. One, two, lift your toes. Four, five, tuck your tailbone. Six, Seven, lift your chin up, keep your back strong and straight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, palm sink down, nice and smooth, tuck your abs a little bit. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, smile, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Be strong here. Tuck your abs. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Sink down. 30. Just relax. Come on. Hopefully, you're doing good. Your abs are all nice and smooth. Your thighs are burning a little bit. That's the goal. Okay. Do that. Let's go back into the chair. For Sunday. Five Sundays. Okay. All right, open arm twist. Keeping your knees intact, open your arms. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, the other side. So you know in Sunday there will be three vinyasas. First one, inhale up. Push your hips forward, back bend. Stand there forward. Inhale, front back. Plank and jump or step into a high plank. Inhale. Upward facing dog, exhale down. This is the third one. And immediately bring your right leg between your hands. Your back heel pivots down in one line. And find your balance. Inhale, come up for a back bend. Here you can do how much your back bend you want. Keep your knee bent and look at the ceiling. That's all you need to do. Inhale. Exhale out into warrior two. Your shoulder blades come closer. Your chest is all opened up. Knee bent. Inhale, reverse warrior. Hand along your left hand, along your left knee. Right hand goes up. Point the stretch on your right side. Cut wheel your arms to the mat. And then right leg goes back. Low plank again. Upward facing dog. And downward facing. Leg, leg comes right away between your hands. 
Right? It goes from the same thing on the other side. Warrior one. Bend. Open up. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Show open your arms. Inhale, reverse. Find a stretch while knee is bent and cartilage. That's it, guys. Low plank, upward facing dog, and down. All right. Three strong breaths. Keep pushing the crown of the head into the mat. Inhale forward. Bend, jump, step to the top. Inhale, flat back, tuck your abs, forehead to your knee. Bend your knees, inhale up, chair pose, toes up. Open arm twist, move smoothly, guys. Left side, straight legs, back bend, swan so dive. Flat back, plank jump step, low plank. Udhamukhi, Adhamukhi, right leg, bring it between your hands. Don't wait. Warrior one. Lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior, scoop it up. Heart wheel. Right leg goes back. Low plank. Udhamukhi. Adhamukhi. Left leg. Spring it. Warrior one. Warrior two. Scoop it up, inhale. Heart wheel down. Left leg goes back, low plank, upward and downward. Breathe. Inhale, look forward. Then jump step. Inhale, flat back. Forehead to your knee. Bend your knees, chair. Third one, swing it out, bring it back in, other side, bring it back in, straight legs back back, swing there, flat back, plank jump step, low, up, down, right leg, Virabhadra, to two, scoop it up, and your cartwheel, right leg goes back. Low, Adhumk. come back to down, left leg, up, Nirvadra, reverse, right wheel, left leg goes back, Lok Chaturanga, Urdhamukhi, Adhumukhi, three down. These three breaths to catch up, be strong. Mm. Mm. Inhale, jump step, flat back, or head to your knee, chair pose two more, swing, bring it back, other side, bring it back, back bend, swing down, flat back, jump or step, Low plank, first of the three. Chaturangas up. Adho. Right leg. Inhale up. Exhale it out. Scoop it up. Part will it down. Right leg. Low plank. Udhamukhi. Adhamukhi. Left leg. Up. Open it up. Scoop it up. Cartwheel it up. Low plank. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. Adhva Mukha. Three. Strong breath. Inhale. Jump step. Right back. Four at your knee. Last one, guys. Chair Utkutasana. Swing your right arm. Bring it back up. Left arm. Bring it back up. Back bend. Swing dive. Flat back. Plank jump step. Low plank. Chaturanga. Move the mukha. 
Adhamukha. Right leg, Virvadra. Virvadra too. A reverse warrior. Knee bent. But will. Head leg goes back. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Down. Left leg. Bring it. Virvadra. Open it up. Scoop it up. Cartwheel. Left leg. Low plank. Udhampi. And Adhampi. Three strong breaths. Inhale. Jump step. All right. Flat back. Forehead to your knees. Up all the way. Hands to heart center. How are we doing? Shake it off. Take a break. Shake everything. You all might be sweating. I am sweating. So enjoy that sensation of sweat on this bright cold day outside. So it's amazing, right? So your bodies are nice and warm and juicy. So let's now use that heat to stretch it out in different ways. We'll start off with the shoulder opener. Okay. So how do you do shoulder opener? It's simple. Stay arm length away from the mat, from the wall. Okay. And then walk your hands up into the ceiling as much as you can. You might be leaning a little forward. That's okay. Bring your palms to the wall and then start bending your hips 90 degrees. Okay. Tuck your abs here and adjust your feet accordingly. You might have to walk a few inches back as you go. And now start trying to take your crown of the head into the wall. Pump it up. Okay. 30, 9, 29, 28, 27, 26. You might be feeling nice opening on your deltoids, on your shoulders. Come on, guys. Work it out. 25. 24, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Just slowly come on. And relax. How are your shoulders? Be honest. They should be burning, right? So shake it off. Roll your shoulders. Big circles with your arms. Three directions to the front. Three directions to the back. Swing your arms to the left, to the right. Go nice and smooth. Feel that shoulders relax. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. All right, next what you do? Stand maybe a little bit more than you put the distance at the wall. Bring one hand up into the wall, other hand up on your hips, both toes facing towards your camera. And all you do is Push, push. You are opening your shoulder like that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You are not moving your hips, you are only pushing your upper body towards. The wall. Okay, relax. Change sides. Okay, same option. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
shoulders nicely next time you go into a downward facing dog you will be able to push your crown of the head like that by keep practicing so the wall really helps with these so that's where we are okay now let's start off with twist twist is pretty straightforward you put distance between your feet on the mat face away from the wall and all you do is Turn back and bring your hands to the wall. Okay. Five, four, just behind you. Three, two, and one. Gently come back to the front and go other way around. Just bring your hands right behind you. Don't overdo here anymore. Four, three, two. And one, come back. Now all we do is go a little bit more deeper. So go back, okay? And then walk your, uh, the hand right towards the front to the back hand. And take your back hand behind. And walk. And twist how much ever you can by twisting your sides. And maybe you look towards your opposite shoulder, maybe towards the front. If your body lets you. So go how much ever you want here on this side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Gently walk your hands back and come back to the front. Now you know what to do on the other side, right? Gently, gently come back and walk your hands to wherever it goes. First start with the hand in front of you to the back hand and then start twisting and walk your fingers away. Keep your body straight. Keep your body straight, leg straight and try to look how much ever you can. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently, gently walk back your hands and arm twists. So remember what you did? You did your shoulders opening. And you twist your spine nicely in both the directions, a little bit deeper than you normally would do. So that is the twisting. So all you do when to improve your circulation in your low back is by walking towards away from the wall and then turning your body to the left and to the right. Awesome. Now let's do um, one more time hamstring stretch. And then with that, we will do back bending. And we will do hip opening a little bit later in the seated poses. So there are mainly five twists or stretches that you need to do to keep your body healthier and stronger. And if you have any low back pain, any neck pain, any shoulder pain, 
these are the ones which really help you. One is hamstring stretch, second one is shoulder stretch, then twist, then your back bending and hip opening. These five will make you enjoy your life a little bit more easier and relaxes your body and conditions your body. So if you get or master these five, then you can do poses much more easier. So don't worry about asanas or the poses. They come to you once you condition the body, right? Now let's do hamstring stretch. So you know what to do, right? Same thing what we started off with. Maybe two to three feet between your legs, one leg pointing the front of the mat, and then tuck your abs. You can put your hands on your hips, and then keep your legs straight as much as you can, and take your forehead into your knee, how much ever, and start pumping it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands down. And tuck your abs and slowly come up. Woo. See that difference now? Your hamstring, your right back of your thigh is all nicely warmed up and stretching like crazy. Now turn to the other side and do the same thing. Hands on your hips. And then do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently come up and move your hips in a circle, circle, and circle, and switch, circle, circle, and circle. Awesome. So, how do you feel? You feel any burning on your thighs, back of your thighs, stretching? This really helps you. Your body might be thanking you at the end of the class. All right, so this is how you stretch your hamstrings. Now, next level, all you do is stand maybe a little bit more than your hand level and take your right leg onto the wall. Keep your hand straight, keep your leg straight. All you do is now hold your opposite elbows and pump. One, two. So, this will help this third hamstring which we talked about to stretch. So if you have a chair, bring a chair and use your hands to hold that grip for a grip. So it's an amazing technique. <clears throat> so put a wall, put the chair to the wall and then bring into your leg up. All you do is hold your handles and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep your legs straight. 10, one more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome. Come back. Switch your feet. So you are using your chair to just support your body when you sink down. Okay. So put your leg up straight and then bring both hands inside. See, both hands inside. And all you do is pop it down. One, two, 
three, four. Feel you should feel stretch in the outside of your um, hip, all the way towards your knee. So feel that stretch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. All right, gently come back. All right. You might be feeling nice stretch. I am feeling it, so you should feel it. And make nice hips, circles. And go other way. Okay. So now you saw, right? The the second exercise we did for hamstring stretch opens up this third hamstring muscle that goes along like this. So that's what we are trying to stretch. So these two are the hip openers. Now let's do some back bending. You can do amazing back bends with your chair too. Okay. So, but for now, we will restrict it. We'll do two back bends, and after every back bend, we fall forward to compensate. So, you know, there are different bones and different uh, alignment. So, it is not a straight thing for your spine. It will be like a S shape. And the last one, last bone is the one that connects both the hip bones. So, mostly the tightness is at that point. And the easiest way to do it is bring your hands up. Okay, you can keep hip width distance, and all you to do is tuck your tailbone and move your hips like that. Back and front. You might have tucked your abs a little bit, bend your knees a little bit, but move your hips to the front and the back. To the front and the back. This really loosens up your the tailbone, the, the last vertebrae that has the tailbone in it. So keep moving. I know this is a little awkward, but this is the best pose to move your last vertebrae. Any low back pain is what we are targeting by moving this and relax. Okay, you get that, right? So you move your hip in a nice, um, and just focus on that tailbone, nothing else, nowhere else. Correct. That will be our first pose. In the second pose, you know, right? Um, maybe stand a little bit away from the wall. If you have a block, take that block in front of you and push your hip forward. This is all conditioning, guys. If anybody wants to do a standing chakrasana, like they want to fall back like that, this is a starter. If you don't have a block, use a pillow. If you don't have a pillow, no worries, right? Bring your hands to the wall, bring your hips forward, and then bring your hands to your hips. Support your hips, and all you do is arch back. As you bend, you try not to bend your knees, but roll on the wall like that. If your knees are bent, that's okay. You go back, bend hands on your hips, keep pushing back. All right, and then Go into the count. Don't overdo anything. Know your limits. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Gently come back. You are arching your neck also. So gently, we are counter pose. Gently roll forward. Bring your hands to the mat or your knees, whatever works for you. Forward fold, leg down, and sink. Sink. Tuck your tone, tuck your, tuck your tailbone, and tuck your chin. Left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right. And slowly down. 
right? Maybe this might be a little bit stretching. Now we'll do the final back bend. You can use a chair and fall back like that, or same options. Try to keep your legs straight, bring your hips. Now, instead of bringing your hands onto your hips, inhale your hands up and you still grip your palms and then fall back, fall back, fall back. Nice and smooth. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Gently come back, up, and fall forward. Counter pose, three. Two. One. And slowly come. Woo. That's how you stretch your back nice and smooth. Any back pain, guys, any low back issues, any psoas muscle pain, any sciatic pain, you can address them using this nice, awesome backward bending. Okay? All right. Next, we'll do. Um, Next week, we'll do some back bending with the help of a chair. So try to keep a chair handy for the next week and we will be able to use the chair. Okay? A small chair will do, which you have to prop up against the wall. So maybe put some protection on the wall so you don't spoil the wall by putting force on the chair. Okay? With that, Let's do some hip opening. Find a seated pose. Let's do butterfly, butta konasana. All right. Keep your back strong and straight. Keep smiling and move your knees up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, pull your heels a little bit more closer and push your knees nice and smooth. There might be a little stretch in your inner thigh and that's totally fine. Keep pushing it down. All right, gently bring your knees up and then move your knees to the right to the left to counter that stretch inside. All right. Now, I want you all to do middle splits. It's called Purnamanasana in Sanskrit. It's amazing satisfaction to you all once you get there with your, all these stretches we did. You should be able to help out a little bit into that pose. So I want you to use your hands or block to support your distinction, but I want you all to try. So for that, we come into goddess pose. You all know this goddess pose, right? So now, twist and bring your hands to support your body weight. That's all you need to do. And then, all you do is open your separation, leg straight, okay? And you are not falling to one side. You are trying to sink your hips down 180 degrees between your legs. So use your hands to support your body. Okay, if you can't go any further, just hang in there and pump it down. And come back if you want. But if you can go deeper and deeper, millimeter at a time. Millimeter at a time. Millimeter at a time and millimeter at a time. So, your toes are towards you. Feel that nice stretch. And if you are here, all you have to do is walk your hands 
as far as possible and do the work at the time. Okay, that's the final pose. Otherwise, just ease back and come out and bring your feet closer. It's as simple as that. And again, knees to the right, to the left, to the right. The goal is once you get into the pose, the real pose comes or you define a pose when you can stay in that pose for longer, right? You should stay with a smiley face in that pose for 10 breaths, for 30 seconds, or even a minute. That's when you master the pose. So the way this pose will give you satisfaction, when you stay here in that pose, you lift your chin up to the ceiling and bring your hands to hearts and say thank you. And really appreciate and thank somebody whom you want to thank really well from the bottom of your heart. Gratitude. Right? Try to practice that in one post today, whatever works for you, and stay there. Right? After the class. That's it. Now, slowly drop your tummy down. Going into spin pose. So stay here for a couple of minutes. So all you are doing here is soaking all the goodness from your practice. Just relax your hips. And just stay. Just nine minutes. Try not to fidget. Just please focus on your breath. Just observe your sensations in your system. Nothing else, the external sound should not bug you at all. Internalize all the sound. Big inhalation. Open mouth. Slowly let it go. Gently separate out your elbows. Stack your palms and bring your forehead and relax.
bring one knee up. Straighten that knee and bring the other knee up. Straight and both the legs. Bring your hands to your chest and slowly transition to your back via both poses. So give me a both pose first before you transition. <clears throat> Gently fall back. Bring your right knee to your chest. Hold it tight and nice. Massage your upward column. Bring your other knee up until your feet touch the mat. Make a figure four and gently walk your hands under the thigh. Push your um, right elbow into your right knee and pull your forehead, lift your chin up into your left knee. Line pigeon. Gently relax your neck. Open your arms to your T and drop the whole assembly to the left over your right shoulder for a Makarasana. Spinal twist. Inhale your knees up. And then straighten both the legs. Now bring your left knee into your chest. Squeeze. Massaging your downward column. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And lift your right knee until your right foot touch the mat. Make a figure four by transferring your left shin onto your right. Go hard, walk your hands into the triangle and grab your underside of your right knee. Push your, put your left elbow on your left knee and bring it in. Push it away while you bring your right knee into your forehead, into your chin. Wherever it goes, lift your chin up. Feel that nice hip opening here also. Gently drop your neck back, open your arms to your big T, drop the whole assembly to the right side, look over your left shoulder. Keep smiling.
Gently release. Bring both knees up. Release hand. Bring both knees into your chest. Bring your forehead up into your knees. Pavana Muktasana. Apply pressure by your quads onto your chest. Massaging the transverse column. Give a nice massage roll left, right. And front and back. And coming into a happy way. Keep your back spine straight on the mat. Tuck your tailbone into the mat. Coming into your happy way. Pull your ankles into your hips. Ananda Balasana. Smile guys. Push your tailbone into the mat. Gently, gently, gently release both knees. Join them up. Move them to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Any pose, if you think you're missing, gently get into that. Otherwise, gently bring your feet up into the ceiling for 10 breaths. Gently bend your knees and straighten your legs. Going into your final relaxation pose of asana. If you think any any pose you are missing, explore it. Just bring your attention to your breath. Normal breathing. Your toes fall apart. Your palms see facing the ceiling, hands along your body. Relax everything. Just relax. Take a big inhale. Open mouth, let it go. Observe your body from your toes all the way to the crown of the head one more time. Breathing nice and smooth, no forceful breathing at all.
One more time, take a big, huge inhale. Open mouth, let it go. Bringing your awareness to your fingertips and toe tips. Wiggle your toes and fingers. Extending it to your wrists and ankles. Roll your neck to the left, to the right. And gently lift your knees up a little bit until your feet touch the mat and windshield wiper your knees to the right, to the left, bringing movement into your hips. And gently turn to the right side into fetal position, bringing your right bicep as a pillow. And slowly, slowly using your left hand as prop in front of you. Come up into an easy seated pose. Keeping your eyes closed. Inhale your hands up, grab all the positive feet from today's practice. Join your hands at the top. And gently on your exhale, bringing into your heart center for truth, wisdom, and compassion and empathy. Ending this session in a small prayer. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Vayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam Gurvarukam yavandhanat mutyor mukshiyamam bhuta Om mantarikshagum chante vayu shante agni shante Avashandihi, Pudvishandihi, Vaspatir Shandihi, Annam Shandihi, Oshadaya Shandihi, Karona Shandihi, Om Samashanti Rehi. Big in hell for Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Get ready, guys. Big in hell. Om Shanti 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 Let peace prevail. Rub your palms, generate nice heat. Relax everything around you. Mentally, physically, spiritually, psychologically. And then with that warmth, gently bring your palms to your face, to your eyes, massage your face, nice and smooth. And gently slide it out towards your temples and bring your palms, open them up in front of your eyes. Gently open your eyes, look at your palms and bring your hands to heart center. Take a big inhale and spread out the loud to our loud ones, near and dear. Open mouth. <sighs> awesome new job you did today. Great job, guys.